Today's video is from Mr. Alexander Sedico's book. It's about band pass filter. And here we'll be discussing practice problem 14.11. And this is on the request of a student. So let's start with the two types of uh, resonant circuit or filter circuit, we can say. One is the series resonance, so all the elements are in series. And this is parallel uh, resonance circuit. And the formulas that we'll be using uh, are reproduced here. This is for the series and this is for the parallel circuit. I'll discuss each of them separately. But the only thing I want to highlight is the quality factor. This is different for series and in parallel. Rest everything is same. So let's go to the question. Design a band pass filter for the form and figure. So this is the form given with a lower cutoff frequency of 20.1 kilohertz and upper cutoff frequency is 20.3 kilohertz. Take R is equal to 20 kilo. So R is given 20 kilo. And we have to calculate the value of inductance L, capacitance C, and Q is a quality factor. So we'll have to calculate these three. Uh, the answer is also given. So we'll try to achieve these answers. Okay. Now this is the frequency response of a band pass filter. And there are two diagrams. This is we call ideal diagram. And the dotted one is the actual diagram or practical diagram. We'll take the ideal diagram. The middle is what is known as the resonant frequency omega naught. And this is the starting frequency, omega 1. And this is the ending frequency, or we call it omega 1. It's called is the lower cutoff frequency. This is 21.1 kilohertz here. And the upper cutoff frequency is 20.3. Okay, now a couple of uh, formulas that we uh, will now discuss. One is called the resonant frequency. How do we calculate this frequency omega? It's just the multiplication of omega 1 and omega 2 under root. Then the next is uh, bandwidth. This is bandwidth, the difference between the two. So like from 0 to omega 2 minus 0 to omega 1 will give us bandwidth. So bandwidth can be written as omega 2 minus omega 1. And half of it is called B by 2. And why you are using this half of it? Because we can define omega 1 and omega 2 in terms of this as shown here. Omega 1 is omega naught. So omega 1 is omega naught minus this value B by 2. And similarly, omega 2 is omega naught plus this value here. This is also B by 2 these two formulas and also there is a term called quality factor q this formula is used for quality omega naught l over r also one over omega naught cr and what is quality factor is actually it shows how selective is the filter how sharp is the filter so if you, like if you are tuning a radio station and the nearby radio station is interfering, then you got to tune it further so it becomes narrower and the peak becomes higher. So that is the high Q. And uh, this formula relates the Q with the bandwidth. So Q omega naught over Q is bandwidth B, which is also R over L. Now, if you see from here, when Q is high, then B is low. So they are inversely proportional. Okay, so we'll be using these now to solve this question, these formulas. Coming back, keep in mind that we have to find L, C, and Q. And one caution, the values given here is in kilohertz. 
whereas we are talking of omega which is the radian frequency so i i hope you remember that the radian frequency omega is given by 2 pi into frequency so using these values we will calculate omega 1 2 pi into f this one and similarly omega 2 2 pi into f so omega 1 and omega 2 we have calculated and now we can calculate omega naught we have learned this formula so multiplying under root so this is omega naught and now we can use this formula or this formula so let's see first of all uh, to find l we have to find bandwidth for using this formula so let's find bandwidth first of all and bandwidth is omega 2 minus omega 1 so this is the bandwidth and now we can find l because r is already given so from here we can find the L to be R over B of the bandwidth. R is 20K and bandwidth is 1.25K. So L is 15.92 Henry. One of the values we have found. Omega naught we have calculated, bandwidth calculated, and L we have found. Answers L is 15.915. We have found 15.92. So it's same, not much difference. Next, we will try to find C and Q. So these are the two formulas that we'll be using. Let's find Q first of all. From here, we can find Q to be omega naught over B. Bandwidth, both we have found, omega naught and B. So plugging in the values, Q is 101. Now Q is a ratio, it does not have any unit. It just shows the quality of the filter or quality of the selectivity of the filter. Next, for C, we can use this formula. 1 over omega naught QR from here. C, we move to the left, Q down here. Plugging in the values, C comes to be 3.9 picofarad. We can also use this formula omega naught is equal to 1 over under root LC and from here C will be 1 over omega dot square L plugging in the values we get the same value 3.9 picofarad. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your feedback and if you're facing any difficulty uh, in electrical engineering questions share with me I'll try to help. Thank you.